Three Locks and the Three Bears, illustrated by Gavin Scott. Once upon a time, Goldilocks was playing in the woods near her home. As she skipped along the pebbly path, her golden locks bouncing, Goldilocks suddenly stopped and sniffed the air. A yummy smell was coming from the middle of the woods. Rumble, rumble. As her tummy grumbled loudly, Goldilocks followed the delicious smell. She soon found herself in front of a little house. I wonder who lives here, she said. Goldilocks knocked loudly on the front door. Knock, knock, knock. But on the last knock, the door swung open. There was no one at home. Goldilocks saw three bowls of porridge on the kitchen table. I'm sure no one will mind if I have a little taste of this porridge, she told herself. Goldilocks ate a spoonful of porridge from the biggest bowl. Yuck, she cried. This porridge is much too cold. Goldilocks tried the medium-sized bowl. Ouch, she gasped. This porridge is much too hot. Finally, Goldilocks took a little mouthful from the smallest bowl. Mmm, she sighed. This porridge is perfect. And she ate it all up. Then, Goldilocks went into the living room for a rest. She saw a big chair, a medium-sized chair, and a tiny little chair. Goldilocks climbed into the biggest chair. This chair is way too big, she said. Next, Goldilocks clambered onto the medium-sized chair. The cushions were very squishy. This chair is too soft, she cried. Then, Goldilocks tried the tiny chair. This chair is perfect beamed Goldilocks. She was just getting comfortable when, crack, the chair broke into pieces. Oh no, Goldilocks gasped. Perhaps I should lie down instead. Upstairs, Goldilocks found a big bed, a medium-sized bed, and a tiny little bed. When she jumped on the big bed, it was too hard. The medium-sized bed was too soft for bouncing, and the little bed was perfect, Goldilocks sighed happily. And the little girl crawled under the covers and fell fast asleep. Zzz. Meanwhile, three hungry bears returned to the little house. They had been for a, look, for a walk while their hot porridge cooled down. But the door was already open and there were muddy footprints in the hall. Someone's been eating my porridge, roared Daddy Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge too, growled Mommy Bear. Look, squeaked Baby Bear, my porridge has all gone. The three bears went into the living room. Someone's been sitting in my chair, roared Daddy Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair too, growled Mommy Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, squeaked Baby Bear, and they've broken it. Suddenly, the three bears heard a noise coming from upstairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, roared Daddy Bear as he stepped into the bedroom. Someone's been sleeping in my bed too, growled Mommy Bear, straightening the cover. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, squeaked Baby Bear, and she's still there. Goldilocks woke up with a start and screamed. The three bears watched in surprise as she ran off through the forest as fast as her little legs would carry her. And guess what? The three bears never saw Goldilocks again. The end. That's the end of this book, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!